My name is Yancy Villacalvo and we are in Memphis, Tennessee and the name of the project is Barrier Free, a socially engaged art installation. Mainly about the U.S.-Mexican border proposal. This art project is an attempt to advocate and to empower all the communities and all the groups that feel threatened and at the same time they are being united. Instead of barriers, what we want to display is the diversity, the beautiful diversity that exists in the U.S. After November the 9th, uh, we all woke up to a new reality. I lead an organization that works uh, with immigrants. We definitely saw the need to take it to the next level because we had to respond to the current situation. Families and communities were under threat. Seeing firsthand how families are being divided, it really got to me. It just hurts the, the whole community at large. You know, we thought about the different angles that we had you know, to approach this. So when Yancy came with the idea of, of doing some kind of art that was interactive, that was engaging, participatory, that we could take to different communities, we said, well, this is it. So I have a consultant, Nelson Gutierrez, and got together with more artists. My photographer is Andrea Morales, and then Eric Clausen, and also Eli Gold, the metal sculpture. It has many components, a diverse mural that represents the community, the messaging board, the, the silhouettes of, of people seeing their own reflection, but also the missing parts, the cutouts of what the person that is no longer there. And I really wanted to make a point that we had to be even more involved in uh, what's happening and to use our civic engagement to help and to change the laws that are hurting the community. Uh, and that's not only the immigrant community, the refugee community, mass incarceration, all the laws that are happening and are preventing families from being together or even being formed in the case of LGBT community. So my goal for this installation is to advocate and to get to more communities and say, this is what we are experiencing and look at this diversity that we have and it's so beautiful and we need to change the laws that are breaking families. We want to take it to, the, to Orange Mound and Germantown and Collerville and all of the different points uh, in Memphis. And not only in Memphis, but then it will travel to more cities in the U.S. Because this is not only a Memphis topic, it's a U.S. topic, it's a world topic. One of the parts of the installation is the actual fence where people can talk about their own experience, their own story, talk about their thoughts or prayer for someone or in memory of someone who has tried to come and hasn't arrived yet or could try and didn't make it or died. You really have their hearts out. I left it open because I really want to hear from the community. In terms of the IOB campaign, we were really happy because an anonymous donor uh, for Latino Memphis decided to match, to do the matching. So your dollars are gonna empower organizations like Latino Memphis who is making a difference on keeping families together. And these dollars are gonna go towards the fabrication of the art installation. Just asking, asking all types of people, uh, from friends to approaching uh, businesses and organizations. The worst thing that they can say is no. Um, and I have had many, many, many no's, but also many yeses. I would suggest to just email, email, uh, talk to people directly, present the project. They will see your passion on it and they will be prompt to help. This project is not only about fabricating the art, but it's about connecting to other communities, connecting to more people, establish a conversation and raise funds for organizations who are doing a wonderful job in uniting the family, uniting communities.